In a previous video, I debated whether or not it was worth elevating an N-fed half wave above the roof line on a house. Now, I did this for uh, 20 meters, but you could apply this to pretty much any band as long as you've got a tall enough mast. So we're looking at an N-fed half wave vertical here for 20 meters. Now, I came to the conclusion it was probably was worth doing just to get it above the uh, roof line above the clutter. So I've been out and I've bought myself an 18 meter DX commander mast and with uh, an end fed halfway for 20 meters which is the band I'm working with here being roughly about 10 meters tall that puts my feed point about 8 meters up in the air which is just above the roof line. Um, initial results look promising and I'll, I'll come to that in a second but before we do, I'll just show you a little bit of the build and then I'll uh, take the camera outside and show you the setup. So um, the basic idea is a 49 to 1 transformer, uh, which, like I said, is about 8 metres up in the air, fed with the uh, coax uh, RG58 down the mast just for the lightweight. I know, I know what I've said about RG58 previously, but uh, I needed something lightweight for the mast so it didn't flex too much. And uh, I will put, I haven't fitted it yet, but I will put this one-to-one uh, -one isolator at the base because the antennas are a tiny bit noisy at the moment. I think uh, that might just uh, help it out. Along with uh, another lightning arrestor, I need to ground the uh, coax cable. It's grounded before it comes into the shack, but I haven't grounded it at the base of the mast yet. I, it was uh, thrown together in a bit of a hurry, but um, you can see here it's a very simple build actually. Um, if I show you this screen on my right here, so literally just nice, thick, fairly heavy automotive um, copper wire. I've uh, used an automotive ring terminal on there just to uh, connect it onto my um, transformer there, just uh, screws onto the screw thread. And then, uh, of course, we want a uh, good connection there, don't we? Oops. We want a good connection there, don't we? So I've soldered it, and then uh, after soldering it, I've just put a load of glue-lined heat shrink on there just to try and uh, protect it as much as I can because this is outside, and hopefully if this works well, fingers crossed, it's going to be there for quite some time. So uh, that's um, that's the basic setup. It is literally just a 10-metre piece of wire with the uh, 49 to 1 transformer on it. And... Uh, once I get down to the bottom, like I say, I will put an isolator in there. I haven't done it yet and uh, ground it. And then it, the cable goes underground and is, uh, again, has another lightning arrestor, so it's grounded before it comes into the shack. But let me take the cameras outside and show you what I've got. Okay, so my setup outside. There's the shack up there in that window. Cable comes out from the loft there. I've put that... Uh, Aluminium pipe up to support the cable comes down to the ground, runs along to the uh, earth lead there, or the earth rod, and that coax cable then runs underground to the mast here. This is a uh, 18 meter DX Commander mast, and uh, I will eventually down the bottom here put another lightning arrestor in. There is one where it comes out the uh, shack by that other earth rod but uh, I will put a lightning arrestor in here as well and um, probably a uh, choke as well and then uh, the cable goes up the mast I've just wrapped it around a few times just to uh, keep it tidy all the way up to the top there guide in two locations and uh, if I zoom in, you can just about see the 49 to 1 up there and then all the way up to the top of the mast. Right, so I guess the question is, how well did it work? Now, like I say, it's a tiny bit noisy at the moment. I'm, I'm hoping I can quiet that down with the line isolator. So I haven't really done anything on SSB with it yet. I've only done a whisper plot. So I've had this running about 24 hours and... Uh, First impressions look pretty good. It's getting out most places, not an awful lot down into Africa for some reason. I don't know uh, if that's just my location or whether there's uh, not many stations down there. I don't know, but uh, it's 
getting out across to uh, North America, some in South America, all around Europe, definitely, and um, a few down in Australia as well. And they were reasonably good signal reports as well. So I guess uh, initial results look promising. Needs a bit more refining, a bit more testing, and uh, we'll do that as time goes on. But initial results, I would say, look quite promising.